Mr. Brown. Good evening, Gladys. Hello. Oh. Hey, you'll get me shot, though, for her ladyship. I wish you won't miss one. Oh. Is the old dragon in? Yes, the old dragon is. Oh. <laughs> evening. I'll take that. Hello, are we economising on biscuits, Gladys? I'll get you some more. I don't think she likes me. She doesn't like anybody. Oh, by the way, many happy returns of the day. How did you know it was my birthday? I saw your date of birth last week in her ladyship's ledger. Accidentally, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, haven't told anybody else it's my birthday, have uh, you? No, not a soul. Oh, good. Quick, please. Teacher, come in. Ah, good evening. Ready? Ein, zwei, drei. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> Hadn't told a soul, eh? Well, I might have mentioned it to one or two people. <laughs> well, thank you all for your good wishes. You are wanting to show our appreciation. Well, that's very kind of you. And we are all buying you a little present. What? Yeah, you shouldn't have. But we already have. Yes. Mm -hmm. May your shadow never diminish. <laughs> oh, thank you. Can I open it now? Yes, please. It is something for you to be using every day. Oh, a pen. Very nice. It is what you are calling a waterfall pen. <laughs> a waterfall pen? That is correct. Ah, oh, you mean a fountain pen. A thousand apologies for my ignorance. <laughs> Excuse me. What for you buy a pen? For birthday. I buy the pen. I'm not knowing what you are buying. Well, you take your pen and change for something else. No, it is you who must be changing. Teacher, proof of my pen. How you know? <laughs> Mr. Brown, my pen is much better. It writes underwater. Oh, I'm sure that's very useful. <laughs> my pen writes in different colors. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'll take both pens. I mean, after all, two pens are better than one. All right. Excuse, please, oh. sir. Yes, Terry. Oh. <laughs> Three pens, sir. Better. Than two. <laughs> you haven't. Yes. Yeah, well, I tell you what, rather than show any preference, I think it'd be a good idea if you all uh, exchanged your pens for something else. Yeah? But thank you, anyway. Thank you. Right, Lundy. Por favor. Yes, Juan. Felicidades en su cumpleaños. Por favor. Uh, pardon? <laughs> Happy Born Day. Birthday. Sí, sí. Oh, thank you. Wonder yes. what this is. Pluma estilográfica. Yeah? What's that? Pen. <laughs> oh, dear. I change. Yeah, I think so. So I. But thank you. Happy birthday, professori. Thank you, Giovanni. For you. <laughs> well, at least it's not a pen. It's a salami. Much garlic. Very strong. Yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> thank you. Quiz, please. Many happy returnings. Thank you, Ellie. I'm buying for you nothing at all. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. But I'm giving you this. Oh, a card? Oh, no. Inside, you will be finding a gift voucher from Arids. Arids? Oh, yes, please. And you can be buying anything whatsoever you are wishing. Anything? Yes. From Harrods of Knightsbridge? You know, please. Harrods of Camden. <laughs> Abraham at a second-hand shop. Nothing over one pound. <laughs> well, thank you, Ali. Master Ji, Apko Janandan Mubarako Ji. Yes, Jamila. Uh, happy. Uh, happy, yes. Hanji. Birthday. Well done. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Holly. Holly. Huh? Holly. Oh, holy. <laughs> Born by Guy. Guy? What, a, a holy monk? No, Guy. Mm. <laughs> oh. Holy cow. Oh, I do that. <laughs> now it is my turn to give you something. Yes, Daniel? <laughs> but first, I wish you happy birthday as we do in France. Thank 
Thank you, da uh, thank you, Daniel. Oh, um, and I have something very French. Oh, thank you. Oh, eau de toilette. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. It is a pleasure for me to give you something. Excuse, please. What is the nature of the gift you are receiving from Daniel? Eau de toilette. Toilet water. You put it on your face. <laughs> You are putting water from the toilet on your face? <laughs> no, Ali, it's not that kind of toilet. Very <laughs> good. May the spirit of universal brotherhood descend upon you. Well, I'm sure it will. <laughs> hope to lead every day. Oh, I hope it's a good read. The best. Thoughts of Chairman Mao. <laughs> Very uplift, uh, lifting. Personary autographed. By Mao? By me. <laughs> Now is me. Yes, Anna. I have made for you a grosser apple strudel. <laughs> it's very grosser. Danke. Bitter. Well, uh, thank you all for your generous gifts. Uh, uh, but I really think we ought to get on with the lesson. Now, this week we're going to look at the vowel sounds, right? Now, does anybody know what a vowel sound is? Yes, please. It is a rumbling tummy. <laughs> Well, vowel, not bowel. <laughs> Sorry, please. Right, well, there are five vowels in the alphabet. A, E, I, O, and U. A, e, I, I, O, U. Good. Now, firstly, we'll take the letter A. Now, this can be pronounced in three different ways. It can be A, A, or R. A, A, or R. Excuse me. Yes, Max. Uh, I'm not understanding. Uh, how can an A be an R? <laughs> it's not the letter R. It's sometimes pronounced R. Anayama, what language? <laughs> it's all right. I'll give you some examples. Let's take the word F-A-T. Now, that has a flat A sound. <laughs> ah. Ah. Good. But if we add an E to the end of fat, then what do we have? Fatty. <laughs> no, Giovanni, fate. Now, does anybody know what the word fate means? Por favor. Yes, Juan. Two fate. Two fate? Si, sí, senor. One right fate, <laughs> one left fate. <laughs> no, Juan, those are feet. Ah, perdón. Right, moving on to the E. Now, the letter E is usually pronounced E, as in e. bet, set, get. get. There are, of course, exceptions to the rule. For example, F E T E is also pronounced fate. Si, senor. One red fate. One red fate. No one. No. 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 Our feet, I told you before. It's all right, it's all right. Right. Moving on to the letter I. This is usually pronounced I or I. 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 Good. Now, can anybody give me an example of the I sound? I. Well, how would you pronounce F I T? Feet! She's <laughs> One right feet, one left feet. No, no? <laughs> yeah, imbecile. Yo imbecile? Imbecile tu, yeah. italiano idiota. No, la capitana. Yeah, 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 if you want to point. argue, argue in English. Go back to Italy, you Italian spaghetti. Ah, shut up. <laughs> you big Spanish omelette. <laughs> Excuse me, her ladyship wants to see you in the office. Oh, thank you, Gladys. I'll be in in a moment. Yes. Right. Hey, maybe she's going to get you a birthday present. Uh, yes, and maybe the Pope's getting married. <laughs> he is? <laughs> I never heard that. It was a joke. Look, I'll be as quick as I can. Meanwhile, if you'll all turn to page 83 and study the sentences giving examples of the various vowel sounds, yeah? And Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Yeah. Uh, allow me. Thank you. OK, I'm in charge. <laughs> Who wants the Davino? <laughs> Enter. You wanted to see me, Miss Courtney? Yes. Oh, I understand it's your birthday. That's correct. Another milestone? Personally, I don't believe in celebrating birthdays. I fail to see how the passing of years can be an occasion for rejoicing. 
No, of course, you're right, I suppose. Now, Mr. Brown, when you commenced teaching here, I said that I would give you a month's trial. Yes. Well, that month is now up, and I feel it only fair to put an end to your worry about the future. Well, that's very kind of you. I can assure you, you won't regret it. I know I won't. Miss Hardacre will start on Wednesday. Miss Hardacre? Yes. She will be taking over your class. You remember I did tell you that I prefer women teachers. You mean I've got the push? Well, let us just say that we no longer require your services. I feel that Miss Hardacre will be much more suitable. Yeah, well, in that case, I suggest you get Miss much more suitable Hardacre to take over tonight, because I'm going home. You can't just walk out like that. Oh, yes, I can. And I won't say it's been a pleasure, because it hasn't. All I can say is... In India, you'd be sacred. <laughs> I stick. <laughs> Pontoon, five card stick only. What you got? Queen of Hearts, Jock of Spades. <laughs> hey, you should not be playing the cards. You should be learning the English. Zig Heil! That is right. You should be improving your mind. You can improve my mind anytime. <laughs> How about tonight, huh? We have the meal, a couple of glasses of vino, then back to my place to make a love. That is not improving the mind. No, but it's, it's very good for the body. <laughs> hey, teacher's coming. Oh. Right, uh, will you all pay attention, please? I have something rather important to tell you. I'm afraid that Miss Courtney has terminated my engagement. It is a very big surprise to me. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a shock to me as well. We are not knowing that you and Miss Courtney were engaged? <laughs> well, you don't understand. I mean to coin a phrase. I've been given the boot. Si, <laughs> senor. One right boot. One left boot. Oh, no, one. Look, can't you understand? I mean I have been fired. I've been given the bullet. Ah, Santa Maria. She tried to shoot you. <laughs> no, I have been dismissed. Dismissed? Oh. Yes. Dismissed. You are leaving us? I'm afraid so. Oh, no. It's incredible, it's formidable, enfin. Why you leave? Well, Miss Courtney doesn't think I'm suitable. Ah, oh, that's... We go speak to her. <laughs> I'm afraid that speaking to her won't do any good at all. OK. We twist her arms a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We tell her if she not let you stay, we work her over. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do nothing of the sort. We don't have mafia tactics in this country. But what is going to happen to us? Well, another teacher will be taking over the class, a Miss Hardacre. I'm already not liking her. <laughs> it is not fair, and on your birthday. Yes, well, as they say in France, c'est la vie. Well, I've enjoyed meeting you all. I uh, wish you all every success with your studies in the future. Oh. Goodbye, Sully. Oh. Very sorry to lose you. Well. Jamila? God happening. <laughs> Anna. Auf Wiedersehen. Max. Goodbye, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Taro. <clears throat> Good luck. Thank you. Uh, you. <laughs> Juan. Yes, amigo. We have them. Taro. <laughs> Ranjit. I'm wishing you all you are wishing yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Giovanni. It's very sad. Now, please, Giovanni, you mustn't be upset. I can't help it. I'm emotional. Yeah, oh, blimey. You are starting me off now. <laughs> you damn fool. Come on, Ali. It's not the end of the world. Goodbye. Goodbye. Danielle? There will always be a place for you. Right here. Oh, very kind of you. Well, uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you for your um, presence. Right. And uh, good luck. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. I thought you'd gone. Yeah, I was just collecting my things. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> now, as you are no doubt aware, Mr. Brown is no longer with us. Yes. Oh. It is making us very sad. Yes. I have telephoned your new teacher, Miss Hardacre, and she will be arriving shortly. In the meantime, I shall take the class. Oh. Oh. 
Now then, let's see how you're progressing. You with a turban. What is this? Pencil. <laughs> it is not a pencil. It's looking like a pencil to me. Let's try again. What is this? A finger. <laughs> Did Mr. Brown teach you anything? Yes, please. He's making us work like the clippers. <laughs> Clappers. Oh, clippers or clappers. We are working very hard. Yes. yes. And we are all very sad he has gone. Yes. Yeah, he was so quiet now, please, quiet. It is really no concern of yours. I'm sure that you will find Miss Hardacre more than efficient. And after all, a woman can do everything a man can do. Not everything. I was speaking academically. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Courtney. Uh, there's a person out here wants to see you. What sort of person? Well, I'm not sure. Miss <laughs> Courtney? Yes? Hardy car. Oh. I thought they were sending me a woman. I am a woman. <laughs> I do beg your pardon. It must have been the... Well, um, perhaps you'd like to come to my office and have a cup of coffee. No, no, time for coffee. We must get started. Crack the whip, show them who's boss, keep them on their toes. And by the look of them, they need it. Beautifully put. But I think we ought to have a little chat first. Oh, very well. In the meantime, you can go on studying your books. Don't talk. Sit still. I'll be back immediately. <laughs> oh, blimey. What a funny woman we are having. I don't think I'm going to like this new teacher. I think I go home. I, oh, I go home too. Nine! What is use of going home? You cannot learn the English at home. Maybe I find a way. There huh? is no way. I am thinking, if we make new teacher go away, perhaps Mr. Brown is coming back. And how you make new teacher go? Very easy. <laughs> That's no good. We get blood all over the class. <laughs> Much better we push her out of the window. Ah, oh, it is looking like we are being stuck with her. We must do something. It is duty to obey erected authorities. Not so. Laws are made to be obeyed. Not even laws. It's bad law. Principles action law. Unjust. He's right. But what can we do? There is nothing we can do. Hey, I've got an idea. What idea? We have a strike. Yeah! Let's all have the strike. What is this strike? Does this mean you're going to be fighting? No, 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 no. A strike, like the big onions. What onions? The trade onions. <laughs> I think your strike is not going to be working. What we are needing is to be revolting. And I am thinking you're already revolting. <laughs> you are asking for a kick up the head. Hey, come on, silly. Let's not quarrel amongst ourselves, yes. huh? I know. Why not we all have a sit-out? You mean a sit-in? <laughs> Adopt policy of non-coopulation. Por favor. <laughs> New teacher alive in classroom, we no coopulate. No as passive resistance. For once, Japan, China, in uh, agreement, we no speak to New teacher. I like it. We keep the trap shut. <laughs> Silencio, understand? Si. Shh. Not speaking. Not a word. Ah. Stum. That's right. Hey, the senora, she come. I am your new teacher. And my name is Miss Hardacre. And I have come to drum English into your respective alien heads. And you have come here to learn. Understand? Good. Now, I have to take your names. You, what's your name? <laughs> Are you deaf? <laughs> you, your name? You, name. I see. Well, I don't know how long you think you're going to keep this up, but I can assure you it won't make any difference to me. I'm just going to sit here until somebody speaks. <laughs> oh, John God, you have squashed my apple strudel. <laughs> no, I think I 
I've got it off now. Well, I'll be sending you the bill, of course. I thought you might. Well, I wouldn't mind that coffee now. I'm so sorry, I've drunk it all. But you'll find the tea room down the corridor. Tea room? Tea room? You don't expect me to queue up with all those students? Oh, no, no. While I'm teaching here, I'll take my coffee in your office. Black, no sugar. <laughs> Now, while I'm here, I think I'll have a look at your prospectus. The little I've seen, you could do with a great deal of reorganization. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Gladys, with your coffee and biscuits. Right, come in. Do you look harassed? I am harassed. Well, I suppose it's that new teacher, isn't it? Yes. The foreign students haven't spoken a word since Mr Brown left, with the result that Miss Hardacre is spending her time reorganising the entire school. She's already reduced two of the other teachers to tears, and she's caused the caretaker to hand in his notice. It's only a matter of time before she takes over my job. Well, why don't you get rid of her and ask Mr Brown to come back? I can't do that. Why not? Well, not after having dismissed him. I have my pride. Mind you, if he asked if he could come back, I'd be only too happy to accept. Ask to come back? But we miss you. Yes. Look, when I got your message to call here, I thought it was for something serious. But we are serious. Yes. If you ask Miss Courtney, she's going to have you back. Yes. No, I'm sorry, it's out of the question. If she wants me back, she'll have to ask me. Now, if that's all there is, I'll say goodbye. Oh, Mr. Oh. Hey, Mr. Brown! Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just uh, seeing something. I was just going to look in on your old class. <laughs> I, I was, was wondering... Wonder... Sorry. After you. No, 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 after you. Well, I was just wondering whether you'd consider coming back. I was just going to ask you if there was any chance of coming back. That's settled then. I thought you preferred uh, women teachers. I do. But Miss Hardacre was more masculine than most men I've met. <laughs> well, do you want your job back, or don't you? Oh, yes. Good, you've got it. We win, we win! Mr. Brownies are coming back! Yay! Yay! Hello. 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 Well, if you'll all sit down, we've got rather a lot of catching up to do, I'm afraid. Excuse, please. Before we are doing that, we are all changing your birthday pens and buying you other gifts from Arabs. The Camden Arabs, you mean? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thank you. A wallet. Hey, a wallet? I've got a wallet. Hey, I've got a wallet, too. <laughs> <laughs> creeping about. Well, I didn't want to disturb you. Very considerate. And perhaps you wouldn't mind creeping into the office for a moment. I want a word with you. <laughs> you may sit. Uh, 
<laughs> now, Mr. Brown, the other evening after everyone had gone, I went into the gentleman's toilet. Oh, I'm sure that was a perfectly natural mistake. <laughs> I went because the caretaker had complained about the graffiti on the walls. And Mr. Brown, it is just not good enough. Oh, I don't know. I thought some of it was rather witty. <laughs> it was disgusting. Someone had written Enoch Powell rules OK. Yes, well, with all due respect, I'd hardly call that disgusting. It was what was written underneath that I found most objectionable. Oh, what was that? Miss Courtney is crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it may not have been one of my students who was responsible. There certainly was. How can I be so sure? Who else but a foreigner would spell crackers? K R A double K E R S? <laughs> well, I'll see it doesn't happen again. There's just one more thing, Mr. Brown. Yes, Miss Courtney? In a few weeks' time, your students will be sitting for their Lower Cambridge certificate. Yes, and we're all looking forward to it. I'm sure we're all going to pass with flying colours. And you have more faith in them than I have. <laughs> now, here is a set of last year's examination papers. I suggest this evening that you set them a mock exam and see how good or otherwise they are. Closer. It's all right. <laughs> Very good. Don't forget to be getting my turban in. <laughs> Smile, please. <laughs> now, who want picture? Yes, please. One for my brother. Two for me. <laughs> ah, so. <laughs> One for me, please. Me too. You two of. of Two. One, two. One. One, two for me, please. That is, I am meaning one, two as well. <laughs> Not one, two. One. Uh, I'd like also to be having one for me. And one for my mother, one for my father, one for my brother, one for my sister, one for my uncle, and one for my auntie. And one for his donkey. <laughs> Stickies and stonies may break my bonies, but the names will never be hurting me, you clever monkey. <laughs> Savano, correcto. Your book, Daniel. Thank you, Max. It's all right. Your handbag. Just a minute. Hey, next time you carry the handbag, huh? <laughs> no, I think it suits you more. <laughs> hey, give me a kiss. <laughs> Your handbag. Thank you, Giovanni. You just missed it. We are having our photographs taken by Taro. Taro, I would very much like you to take a photograph of me. Hey, I'd take your picture. You have not the camera. Sure, I've got the camera at home. You come back with me after the class and we take lots of pictures. And then we can see what develops. Hey, what do you say? I say no. <laughs> you want a picture in classroom? Yes. How about here? Mm. Bellissima, oh. huh? Morpho. Magnifica. Hey, higher. Excuse, please. No more higher. You are giving me naughty thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> me too, but I'm liking them very much. <laughs> now I take them. Ready? Ready. Madre mia. No good. No good? You must be joking. She's beautiful. Too close. Can get in, no? Top half. Or bottom. But you are not taking her bottom. <laughs> Just take the head and the shoulders. Yeah, you can take one of the legs for me after. <laughs> OK. Very good. Ready? Ready. Look at the camera. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I'm having my photograph taken. Really? Very nice. <laughs> can you do me a big favor? What sort of favor? I would like to have a photograph taken with you. Yes, well, I don't think we've really got time for that sort of thing. Oh, please, it's for my mother and father. I've told them all about you, and they would love to have a photo. Yes, well, uh, oh, come on, Mr. Brown. 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 Mr. Mm. Ready? <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> we were having our photograph taken. 
I was not aware that photography was included in the curriculum. Uh, yes, well, would you all sit down, please? And, uh, Danielle, would you stand up? <laughs> but what about our photo? Yeah, well, we'll see about that later, all right? Don't sit down. It was for her parents. I just came to bring you the answers to last year's examination papers. Thank you. Huh. <laughs> I hope I didn't get you into trouble. I'll survive. Right, now, before we do anything else, I want all the male students to write down the word crackers on a piece of paper. Crackers? Yes, I want to find out how you spell it. You don't know how to spell it? <laughs> yes, I do, but I want to see if you do. Okay. <laughs> ah, so it was you. Please, you wrote this on the wall of the gent's toilet? Squeeze, please. I'm not writing anything on the wall of the toilet. <laughs> well, then how do you account for the fact that you spelt crackers, K-R-A-K-K-E-R-S, whereas you looked at everybody else's paper, you will discover that they have spelt it... Well, at least you're all consistent. <laughs> right, in future, please, no more writing on walls. Now, pay attention. In a few weeks' time, you will all be sitting for your examinations. That is good. Much better to be sitting for examination than standing. <laughs> I'll rephrase that. In a few weeks' time, you will all be taking your lower Cambridge certificate. And to find out how you're progressing, we are going to have a mock exam. That is to say, an imaginary one. Right, during the second half of the lesson, I want to see how many you can answer to find out your strengths and weaknesses. You can study the questions during the tea break. I would rather be studying the answers. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you would. Right now, firstly, have you all done your homework? Ah, yes. 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 Good. Well, we'll see how well you've done. Juan. Por favor. Yeah. <laughs> what answer did you give to question one? Explain what is wrong with the following sentence. The cows was in the field. Ah, momentito. <clears throat> the cows was not in the field. <laughs> <laughs> No one, that is not the correct answer. The cows was in another field. <laughs> cows were in the field. I didn't see them. <laughs> All right, now, Ranji, question two. Name the three classes of gender and give an example of each. Thousand apologies, but I answered that question with nothing. You mean you haven't answered the question? That is the gist of what I am saying. I am not comprehending the meaning of the word gender. Gender is the grammatical classification of the sex of proper nouns. But you are learning about English, not about sex. <laughs> you cannot learn sex from books, Ranjit. You ever have it or you don't have it. I have it. I know all about sex. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Uh, so may I remind you that we're not here to discuss sex. Why not? It is a very interesting subject. Yes, I'm aware of that, but there's a time and a place for everything. You tell me the time and the place, and I shall be there. Quiet, <laughs> please. Can we get back to the matter of your homework? Ranjit, the word gender refers to whether or not a proper noun is masculine or feminine. Now I'm understanding. And what is the other? Other one. Gender. There are three classes of gender. One is masculine, one is feminine, and the other is... Both. <laughs> Newton. Thousand apologies. Right. Suli. Yes, Mr. Blanc. Question three. Give the feminine of the following. Lion. Rioness. Lioness. Rioness. No, le, le. R, r. <laughs> You're not saying it right. Fairly solly. I know. <laughs> Try saying Ryaness. Lioness. Good. <laughs> well, in future, every time you see an L, pretend it's an R, right? Anna. Yeah. Feminine of Duke. Duke S. Duchess. Jamila. G. Now be careful. The feminine of monkey. Monkey S. No. No? No, the feminine of monkey is monkey. There is no difference between masculine and feminine. Squeeze, please. You are mistaken. <laughs> I'm seeing them in the zoo, and there's a very big difference. I am referring to the word itself, not their physical appearance. Ali. Yes, please. Question four. Explain what is wrong with the following sentence. Waiter, I would like some chops of pork. Waiter, I would not like some chops of pork. <laughs> no, Ali, that's not right. Yes, please. It is against my religion to be eating pork. <laughs> the word pork is immaterial. How do you feel about lamb? 
Oh, blimey. I like lamb very much. Right. Let <laughs> us suppose that the question read, Waiter, I would like some chops of lamb. What is wrong with that? I should be asking for minty sauce. <laughs> be asking for lamb chops, not chops of lamb. Jelly good. Thanks. <laughs> Question five. Quite a hard one, this. Construct a sentence using the word indisposition. Sure. <laughs> Every Saturday, I play football, and I am being the goalie keeper, because I like playing indisposition. <laughs> This is no laughing matter. If your present standard is anything to go by, you haven't a chance of passing your exams. Now, I suggest you all take an early tea break, study those questions, and let's hope that you show some signs of intelligence. Otherwise, we might as well stop wasting each other's time. Hey, Max. The professori is a mad at us. Sure. We must do good with these questions. Yeah, we got to get every question right. How we do that? I've got an idea. Professori has got the answers, right? So? So we get them from him. He's not going to give them to us? He don't have to. We steal them. <laughs> There you are, dearie. Thank you. Tempe, thank you. Who's next? Me, please. Oh, tea or coffee? Hot water. <laughs> Hot water? Yes, please. I bring my own tea bag. <laughs> you can't do that. But I'm already doing it. I'm starting economy ride. That, but that tea bag's already been used. Most oh. definitely. I'm making three cups of tea out of one tea baggie. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you can't make your own tea. Oh, blimey. Then I'm not having any at all. Next. Who's next? Buenas noches, my little flower. <laughs> How beautiful you look tonight. Just like a Madonna. Are you talking to me? See? No. No, what? No, whatever it is you're after. It's nothing. Huh? Well... Maybe just one little thing. Uh, you see, uh, I am... Uh, I am a little tall with the money. Uh, I pay for the coffee tomorrow, no? No. No money, no coffee. Ah. Ah, Ranji, you are my friend, mi amigo. You lend me ten pence. I'm only having ten p. It's all right. <laughs> Senora... Gracias. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, I take you my last ten p. You, my very good friend. <laughs> Coffee, please. Ten p. I'm not having any money. You're not having any coffee. <laughs> Can you be lending me ten p? Yes. Okay. Thousand thank yous. But I'm making one condition. What is that? I want to hear you say, all Muslims are nice, kind, and most wonderful persons. If I am saying that, you will be lending me 10 p? If you are saying that, I will be giving you 10 p. Very well. All Muslims are nice, kind, and wonderful persons. Jolly good. <laughs> There's only one thing. What, please? All Sikhs are very big liars. <laughs> Listen, everybody, because this is very important. What's the matter? It's about the test we have. Yeah, we got to do good. Otherwise, we're all in the minestrone. In the soup. <laughs> That's right. Now, we have a plan. What plan? We pinch the answers. That is cheating. That's right. I do not cheat. Perhaps the exam is not too bad. Maybe we can answer the question okay. Yeah. Hey, pardon, hey. Okay. It's not too difficult. Let's have a look. Question one. Construct sentences using the following types of clauses. A verbal clause of time, 
Noun clause as object of preposition and main clause coordinate with first? Well, Anna? How we steal the answers. <laughs> Mr. Brown, your students have been at it again. Oh, it's not more graffiti. No, not this time. Read this. Young virile male student wishes to meet nice lady from cookery class for evenings of mutual pleasure. Apply Maximilian Papandrios. <laughs> Kindly inform Mr. Papandrios that the notice board is for official notices and not for procuring young women. Right. I'm sure his intentions were quite innocent. Evenings of mutual pleasure? Yes, well, he probably only wanted her to whip up an omelette. <laughs> well, tell him to whip up his own omelettes. <laughs> right, I, I'll have a word with him. See that you do. Your coffee, Miss Courtney. Thank you, Gladys. Oh, by the way, Mr. Brown, how is the mock examination coming along? Oh, well, we haven't started it yet. We're going to get cracking just as soon as we've finished our tea break. Well, I do hope that the results will be good. Otherwise, I shall have to think about axing the course. Axing the course? You wouldn't do that, surely? I most certainly would. It would be a complete waste of time for them to carry on and sit for an examination they have no hope of passing. Thank you, Gladys. Well, that's it. Ooh. I've had it. Well, I didn't think your class was as bad as that. Oh, they are at the moment. Oh, I'm sure that when the time comes, they'll pull through with flying colours, but right at the moment, the only thing they like to get right on the test paper is their names, and even that's doubtful. Well, <laughs> you'll have to help them with the answers. Well, give them the answers. Yeah, not exactly give them to them. Just leave them lying around where they can see them. That is cheating. No, not exactly. It's not as though it's a real exam. I mean, you said yourself they come out with flying colours. Ah, it's a pity if the course has to be cancelled. All because of failing a mock exam. But you know best. It's <laughs> <laughs> much too obvious. How we steal the answers? I know. First we hit him on the head. <laughs> That's no good. We make too much mess. We've got to get him out of the class. How we do that? I don't know. Hey, let's all think. Studying hard? Professori, you're here. Yes. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. Have two cups of tea. <laughs> we'll be back, huh? Max. Yeah, well, just a minute, Max, and I want to work with you. Me? Yeah, I believe that this, uh, this notice is yours. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that Miss Courtney will not allow you to have that on the notice board. OK. As a point of interest, did anybody from the cookery class respond? Sure. She was beautiful. We had a fantastic time. Never before I had a such a time. Really? What does she cook for you? Cook? We had a takeaway. <laughs> Uh, where are you going? Uh, we go to spend 2p. Well, the phrase is spend a penny. Sure. I spend a penny, he spend a penny, I spend a penny. <laughs> you won't uh, go near the classroom, I hope. No, Professor. Only, you see, I've just uh, left the answers on my desk and I wouldn't want you to be uh, looking at them and copying them down. Would we do that, Max? No. <laughs> That would be cheating, Mr. Brown, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, up. nearly finish. All right. You're looking for something. <laughs> is Mr. Brown in the classroom? No, Mr. Brown is in the tea room. Down the corridor and on your left. I am familiar with the geography of this building. Sure. Would you mind moving? What for? I wish to enter the classroom. But Mr. Brown is in the tea room. So you have already told me, but I wish to wait for him in the classroom. OK, Miss Courtney. <laughs> you want to go into the classroom, Miss Courtney? I will open the door for you, Miss Courtney. I am not deaf. <laughs> oh, Mr. Capello, all ready for taking your exam? Sure, all ready. Good. Ah, oh, Miss Courtney, did you want me? No. I just thought that I would supervise the class during their mock examination. Yes, well, there's no need to do that. I'm quite capable of doing it myself. Mr. Brown, when the students take their real exam, you will not be allowed to stay in the classroom, never mind supervise. It's a precaution against any attempt to cheat. Cheat? Yes. 
It has been known in the past for an over-enthusiastic teacher to provide his students with the answers. Really? How contemptible. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, you have exactly one hour to complete this paper, starting from now. Uh, excuse me, please, Miss Courtney. Yes? Can I spend a penny, please? All right, but hurry. You don't need to take your exercise book with you, do you? Just maybe I think of an answer, so I write it down. <laughs> well, come along, Mr. Nadim. Yes, please. Where do you go along to? <laughs> we are not going along to anywhere. I just want you to get started on the answers. I'll do my best. Excuse me, please. Yes. Toilet, please. Very well, <laughs> but don't be long. Ah, here are the answers. I put them in my book already. Good. I put them in my book. Hey, look, I got to tell Ali, Ranjit, one and Darrow, and then are the girls. Okay. Hey. We pretty smart, eh? Sure. We have no trouble with this exam. <laughs> I'll be very quick. Would you like to go to the toilet, Mr. Brown? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Everyone else has been. Yes, well, it's probably the cold weather. <laughs> we have another five minutes, Miss Schmidt. I am finished. Oh, good. Then I'll take a book. Has anyone else finished? Yes, 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 yes. I'll collect up your books and I'll take them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right there. Thank you. <clears throat> I shall take these home with me tonight and mark them personally. I do hope they've done reasonably well. So do I. Otherwise, it's the axe. Oh, blimey. <laughs> You're chopping his head off? <laughs> Only metaphorically. Oh, you have about two minutes, Miss Chung. Not necessarily. Finished. Thank you. <laughs> well, good night, everybody. Good night. I shall see you all tomorrow. Oh, just a minute, Miss Courtney. Won't you uh, need the answers? I shan't need them, Mr. Brown. Oh. However, I might as well take them. It might speed up the marking. Oh. Is something the matter? These are the wrong answers. <laughs> oh, these aren't the answers to last year's paper. They're the previous years. I must have picked them up by mistake. <laughs> oh, I suppose last year's answers must still be in my filing cabinet. <laughs> Are you feeling all right, Mr. Brown? You look a little peaky. No, no, I'm fine. Never felt better. <laughs> Mr. Brown? Good evening, Miss Courtney. Mr. Brown. I marked your students' examination papers last night. Yes, well... It's unbelievable. I can't explain. Everybody answered every question correctly. You see, what happened? <laughs> what did you say? Everybody answered every question correctly. Good Lord. I told you it was unbelievable. It was positively miraculous. See for yourself. <laughs> but these are the answers you gave me last night. That's correct. But you said they were the previous year's answers. Yes, but I discovered last night that I had also given you the previous year's questions. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Brown. Your students are a credit to you. <laughs>
Et je m'y mets. Allez, les Grecs, allez. Come, come. Chut. Hey, 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 hey. Miss. Italy, Italy. Like what you mean, huh? What's going on here? Oh, we are playing the English game of shoveling the halfpenny. <laughs> Italy against Greece. She, me, arbitro. Chicken. Chicken? She, when a player is offside, chicken. <laughs> it's a foul. Foul chicken. Play. It's not quite the same. Who's winning? Italy. Oh, good. Only just. What's the score? Six and eight. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Very close. What's that? Oh, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, water. Sure, it's water. Water? That's wine. Wine? Santa Maria. Another miracle. <laughs> That's why I don't want to see that in this class again. Right, now, back to your places, everybody. Oh. Straighten up this oh. table, please. Thank you. Right, uh, rather than uh, go straight on to a lesson, I thought it might be a good idea if we all talked about what we did at the weekend, right? Give you all a chance to brush up on your English conversation. Right, now who should we start with? Danielle, how did you spend your weekend? I went to Brighton with my new boyfriend. Oh, very nice. And he was very naughty. Yeah, so people usually are in Brighton. No, he was naughty on the motorway. Was he? <laughs> Why, actually. The police were not very happy. Oh, I'm sure they weren't. They made him stop the car. I mean, he was driving at the time. Of course! <laughs> How else would he be doing the 100 miles an hour? You mean he was speeding? Yes. What did you think he was doing? <laughs> How about you, Anna? Did you uh, spend a weekend with your boyfriend? Nein, I have no boyfriend. Oh, that's a pity. Everyone should have a boyfriend. I have no boyfriend. <laughs> I, I was referring to the girls, then. No, I an apologies. I once had a bad experience with a boy. A bad experience? Yeah. What, you mean he tried to get you into bed? Nine. Not bed, sleep. Bed. Opposite von Gut. Oh, bad. Yeah, bed. Oh, yes, what happened? I cannot tell you. It was too awful. A Japanese philosopher say, confession, very good for so. Yeah. Tell us what happened. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, Anna. Maybe it is better I get it off my breast. Yes. <laughs> Chest. Yeah. It was dreadful. I still blush when I'm thinking of it. Yes, well, perhaps you better not tell us then. She must. <laughs> Most definitely. I am all your host. <laughs> it was about five years ago, and I was going out with this boy, Court. I was young and innocent. One night we have been to the beer garden, and we have been drinking a lot of schnapps. Afterwards, I'm inviting him to my apartment for coffee. Ooh la la! <laughs> Japanese philosopher also say, men go to ladies' apartment for drink. Uh, usually, end up having nibble. <laughs> well, I think we'll leave your Japanese philosopher out of it, if you don't mind, Tara. Go on, Anna. Well, we sat together on the bed, and he was stroking mine end. <laughs> <laughs> Which end? This end. Oh, you have? I am thinking I am too young to be hearing anymore. Well, you can leave the room if you wish, Ranjit. <coughs> no, no, I stay. It is good to be knowing the ways of the world. What happened next, Anna? Court was kissing me on my neck. Sacre bleu. <laughs> then he was kissing me on my shoulder. Then he was kissing me all over the place. Go on. But I was feeling all romantic. Then, with all the drink what I had drunk, on the warmth of his body by mine's on the bed, I did something I have always been ashamed of. Well, what did you do? I fell asleep. <laughs> Santa Maria! <laughs> when I woke up, he was gone. How sad. Well, never mind. Tell me. Ah, uh, so. <laughs> How did you spend your weekend? Uh, I go to Paris. Oh, Paris. Yes, sir. Ah, weekend in France, oh, eh? No, no, not France. England. Uh, Taro. Yes, Chicharo? Paris is in France. 
not Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. I follow you. Uh, you follow me? Yeah. I didn't see you there. No, 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 no. I mean, I understand that you went to Buckingham Palace. Yes. There I see Loyal Fraggle. Loyal Fraggle? But royal Flag? Arsenal. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Jamila. G. How did you uh, spend your weekend? Weekend? Yeah, well, what did you get up to? What did you do? Jig, jig. <laughs> you went dancing? No. Jig, jig. <laughs> Film. Maurice Chavale. Thank heavens. For little girl. Ah, Gigi. Ah, Gigi. Ah, oh, right. Max. That's me. Yeah. How did you pass your weekend? Um, Saturday, I go to see the big fight. Ah, a boxing match. No, no, football match. <laughs> and Sunday, I take my girlfriend to see the Tower of London. Oh, very cultural. Did you see the beef eaters? Beef eaters? Yes. No, I only see people eating sandwiches. <laughs> It's all right, very funny. Two, one. Uh, what happened to you at the weekend? Por favor. How, how did you spend your weekend? Por favor. A weekend. <laughs> semana. Ah, si sí, hombre, semana. Saturday, I work in bar. Sunny day, I stay in cama, durmiendo. Eh? Por favor? I mean, pardon. <laughs> durmiendo. <laughs> You slept. She si, sleep. Yeah, but I thought you were an R.C. Por favor. Uh, Roman Catholic. Ah, see, si, Catholico. Espíritu Santo Domini. You said you slept. I mean, surely you're supposed to go to church on Sundays. A God, he tell us. Six days, you work. On the seventh day, you rest. I rest. <laughs> you big sinner. No, Sina. See, when you die, you not got to heaven. You got down a hell. <laughs> okay. It's a more friend uh, down a hell than up a heaven. <laughs> Listen, five minutes down a there, and you'll be just another Spanish omelette. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're all right, little dude. Like, sit down to your body. I presume you did go to church. See, every Sunday I go to mass. Oh, you're, you're a practicing Catholic, then? I no practice. I'm a perfect. <laughs> In Italy, when I was a little boy, I was going to be a priest. Really? What made you change your mind? <coughs> well, it's like this. One day, the priest gave a big sermon in the church all about women, girls, and the pleasures of the flesh. And the more he spoke, the more I realised what I would be missing. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr Brown. Do you mind if I intrude for a moment? No, not at all. Well, the school is holding a draw next weekend, and I'm selling tickets for it. Excuse me. This drawer you are selling tickets for? Yes. What sort of drawer is it? Is it from the dressing table or what? <laughs> it's not that sort of drawer, Angie. It's a raffle. Thousand apologies. Now, it's in a very good cause, the old age pensioners. Tickets are 10p each. Who's going to buy some? <laughs> well, what about you, Mr. Singh? Thank you very much, but I must decline. But it's for the old age pensioners. Yes, but what am I going to be doing with one if I win? <laughs> the pensioners are not the prize. A thousand apologies again. The first prize is a weekend for two in Paris. Oh, I'll take one. I wouldn't say no to a weekend in Paris. Why not we share the ticket together? Maybe we can share the weekend too. <laughs> that is immoral. Oh, but it's very nice. <laughs> I am sure that Mr. Brown wouldn't dream of doing any such thing. Would you, Mr. Brown? No, no, of course not. <laughs> I think I'll leave these tickets with you. Do you think you can get rid of two books? Well, I do. Excellent. Excuse me, please. Sorry, we are late. Hey, we are delayed because of the reason of mist. Mist? Yes, please. Well, it's a perfectly clear night. How can you have been delayed by mist? We missed the bus. <laughs> then we had to go to the dressmakers for a fitting. You're not having a dressmate. <laughs> no, not Ari. Me. She's having a dressmate for a wedding. 
Wedding? You mean you're getting married, Suli? Yes, next week at Legislate Office. Well, I must say, <laughs> kept rather quiet about that. Oh, blimey, she's being swept off her foot. <laughs> Feet. Well, who's the lucky man? Do we know him? Yes, please. It is me. <laughs> Try, love. Yes, thank you, Gladys. Well, tomorrow's the big day, then. What big day? You know, the wedding. Ali and Sue Lee. Oh, that. Yes. I had a long talk with that girl last week about her future. Oh, that was nice. However, in spite of all I said, she's decided to go through with it. Well, there's nothing wrong in getting married. You ought to try it. <laughs> I am perfectly happy as I am, thank you. Miss Courtney? Yes? Can I be a bit personal? If you must. Have you never been with a, a man? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you know... Certainly not. I prefer a hot water bottle. <laughs> At least you can hold it against you without it getting amorous. <laughs> well, have you never wanted to get married? Well... There was one occasion, oh. many years ago, mm -hmm. a boy I was very fond of. In fact, we were inseparable. <laughs> he asked me to elope with him. Oh, how romantic. And did you? Almost. We set off one morning for Gretna Green, but I'm afraid we never quite made it. How far did you get? Gold as green. <laughs> My father caught up with us and dragged me back home. Oh, he forbade me to see the boy again. Said we were far too young. Oh, what a shame. How old were you? He was eight and I was six. <laughs> Still, never mind, dearie. I know there's somewhere, someone somewhere waiting for you. Then he'll have a very long wait. <laughs> I have no intention of subjugating myself to any member of the male sex. Oh, so I take it you think women are equal to men? Certainly not. Women are far superior. <laughs> so you won't be at the wedding tomorrow? No. I have better things to do with my time than go and watch two people embarking on such a foolish enterprise. Oh, well, I'm going. I love weddings. And I think they'll make a lovely couple. And Ali for you, a lovely uh, glass. Sorry, no. It is against my religion to drink. It is also against my religion. <laughs> oh, another miracle, Giovanni? No, professori. We drink the health of the happy couple. You have a glass, huh? Yes, well, I suppose it is a special occasion. Eh, hey, prego. Oh, thank you. Well, what about a toast, then? Eh? Uh, we have no toast. Only kisses. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean a toast for Ali and Suli. We have no toast for them either. <laughs> to Ali and Suli. To Ali, Ali and, and Suli. May all your troubles be little ones. Little ones what? It's an English expression. It means to hope that you have a family, a baby. Oh, blimey. I'm doing something about it last night. <laughs> yes. I'm preparing a little room for nursery. Ah. Please. I am having a very funny thought. He's Pakistani. She is Chinese. If they have a baby, it will be Pakinese. <laughs> How dare you? This is teaching you not to be insulting. You ignorant son of a bearded cook. Come on, lady. You are son of the offspring of a cook. I can't. All right, that'll do. Come on. Well, let's not forget why we're here. You still have a lot to learn. Now, back to your places, everyone, and put those glasses away. Right. Now, this evening, I, I thought we'd try and have a, a group discussion, all right? Yes? We'll uh, pick a subject and then uh, we'll all discuss it thoroughly. Now, what would you like to discuss? <coughs> Girls! <laughs> I don't think so, Giovanni. Anybody, any other suggestions? Sport. 
Sport. Yes, good idea. That's a good subject, Max. Right, sport. Now, although uh, most sports are international, there are, of course, various activities which are peculiar to individual countries. For example, the national sport of France is... Um... Football. Good. Well done, Daniel. And the national sport of Italy? Girls. <laughs> That's not a sport. Maybe not, but it's more popular than football. <laughs> Julie, what is the national sport of China? China excellent at everything, especially table tennis and athletics. Japan, much more athletical. Champions of karate. Chinese Kung Fu much superior to Japanese karate. <laughs> Not so. I'm a black belt. Kung Fu much inferior. hi -ya! Oh, oh yeah. all right, that'll do. Come on, we don't want any more Oriental punch-ups. Go and sit down. <laughs> Right, who can tell me what the national sport of England is? Yes, Jamila? Bowling. Bowling? <laughs> I'm bowling green. Bowling. Oh, bowls? Ah, oh, well, yes, that's not exactly the national sport. No, that honour goes to cricket. Please. I not understand cricket. Well, it's uh, quite straightforward. Uh, there are two teams of 11 men each, and one side goes in, and the other side have to try and get them out. I didn't know you could play it in the doors. <laughs> It's not played indoors. Yeah, but how can somebody be hout when he's already hout? <laughs> well, I'll try to explain. You see, the team that is bowling is on the field and the team that is batting is in the pavilion. Now, the first two men, batsmen, come out to go in. And then uh, the first one of those to be out goes back in and then another batsman comes out to go in. Uh, is that clear so far? Oh, sure. When he's in, he's not really in, he's out. <laughs> And when he's out, he's not really out, he's in. That's right. Panayamu, it's crazy. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, you're wanted straight away. It's Miss Courtney. And she said it's very important. Oh, uh, thank you, Gladys. I shall be a moment. Um, Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Good. And pick a subject. <laughs> OK. Now we talk about the girls. <laughs> Enter. You sent for me, Miss Courtney? Yes. Oh, this is the teacher, Mr. Brown. I am hearing much about you. Oh, I hope it's all good. This young lady has called to see Mr. Nadim. Oh, Ali, you're a friend of his then? More than a friend. You're not his sister, right? No. I am his wife. Oh. <laughs> Tonight, after class, we take you in at the pub, huh? Yes, and we're having a big feast. Si, big fiesta. Plenty drink. It is last night of freedom. Thank you, please. But it is not necessary. I do not drink. Don't be selfish. <laughs> it's a tradition. The night before the wedding, for the bridegroom to be slashed. <laughs> You all men are male chauvinist pig. Why you not invite us to the pub? What? And spoil the evening? <laughs> <laughs> you make your own fiesta. <laughs> we go to PUBG, all ladies. No, please. Jamila is right. We have our own celebrations. Mm. That's right. Ali? Yes, please. Can I see you, please? You are seeing me now. <laughs> I mean, I want to see you in private in Miss Courtney's office. It's rather important. OK. Oh, excuse me. I will be back very soon, my beloved. Oh, <laughs> oh l'amour. Toujours l'amour. I wonder what was so important for Mr. Brown to be telling Ali. And maybe he's going to tell him the facts of life. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, Ali. Thank you. Where's, um... I've sent her to the tea room. Oh, good. Well, I think it might be a good idea if Ali and I were left alone. I, I presume you'll speak to Miss Suli. You presume wrong. I think Mr. Nadim should do his own dirty work. Oh, well, Ali. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to beat about the bush. What bush? <laughs> I have just met your wife. Oh, jolly good. And I must say, it came as rather a shock. Excuse, please. She's not all that bad looking. <laughs> no, 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 Ellie, you don't understand. You are a married man. Oh, yes. 
Well, then how can you possibly be thinking of marrying Sue Lee tomorrow? Why not? Well, it's big of me. Oh, no. It is big of me. <laughs> no, no, Anna, you don't understand. You can't have two wives. Oh, yes, please. It is allowed by my religion. If the first wife is agreeable, then the husband can take another. You mean your wife doesn't mind? Not at all. It is to have the baby. Baby? Yes, please. We have been now trying for four years and nothing is happening. So I'm taking another wife to have the babies. Yeah, well, it's against the law in this country. But they're not going to be finding out, are they? Yes, they are, because I'm afraid I'm going to have to be telling them. Oh, blimey. <laughs> now what am I going to be doing? Well, I think the first thing you should do is tell Sue Lee about your wife. Uh, she's already knowing it. She doesn't mind? Not at all. She's being very much in love with me. Well, look, you'll just have to tell her that the wedding is off. Ah, uh, she will be broken-hearted. Yes, well, you should have thought of that before. Come in. Excuse, please. Miss Courtney say you won't see me. Yes, uh, come in, Suli. Uh, Ali has uh, something to tell you. Yes, Ali? <coughs> uh, well, uh, you see, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, well, uh, there is something very important you must be knowing. What is it? <coughs> uh, well, mm, Mr. Brown will be telling you. <laughs> Ali! Uh, sit down, Sully. Well, I don't quite know how to say this, but it uh, has to be said. I do have something to say. It's about the wedding. I cannot marry Ari. You see, the point is... Pardon? I cannot marry Ari. Why can't you marry Ari? Ma marry Ali. <laughs> I'm not in love with him. But you must have said that you wanted to, surely. Yes, I was being sorry for him at the time, but now I know it is not possible. How am I going to tell him? It will break his heart. Ah, uh, well, don't worry, Suli. I'll tell him. I'm sure I'll be able to let him down gently. Yes, uh, you leave it with me. I'll, uh, I'll sort it out, I'm sure. I'll have a word with him. Excuse please, Mr. Brown. Yes, Sally. Did you tell Suli? Yes. Oh, jolly good. Now I'm being very happy with one wife. Good. I hope she didn't mind too badly of me. Well, I was, I was as tactful as I could be. I told her that it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Oi, 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 oi. What a beautiful thought. Was she very sad? Absolutely heartbroken. Did you tell Ari, Mr. Blanc? Yes, yeah, surely. I, I told him it's uh, better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Was he very upset? Broken hearted. Right, uh, now pay attention, everybody. Ali and Sue Lee have had a long discussion and uh, by mutual agreement have decided to call off their wedding. We've already booked the pub. We've ordered all the toast and the drinks. Yeah, yeah well, you'll just have to cancel. Excuse me, please. You do not have to be cancelling it. But we have nothing to celebrate. Oh, blimey, yes, we have. My lovely wife is telling me that I'm going to be a daddy at last. Oh! <laughs> To the pub! Yeah. Just a moment, it's not time to go yet. It's half an hour more. I say, come back. <laughs> Just a moment, where do you all think you're going? <laughs> to the pub. Mr. Brown, this is most unsatisfactory. Well, I agree. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, there's this? only one thing I can do. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Looking for someone, Mr. Cervantes? Uh, por favor. Never mind. <laughs> Good evening, Juan. Well, uh, you only just made it. Si, si. Well, come along into the classroom. In a momento. First, I have to go someplace. Ah, well, don't you? <laughs> no. Hey, come on. This, that, this way. Hi, good evening, everyone. What's up? Well, uh, I may as well warn you that I'm not in the best of humours tonight. In fact, I have a serious complaint. Why don't you go to the doctor? It's not that sort of complaint, Danielle. I'm far from happy with your progress. I feel as if I'm banging my head against a brick wall. Oh, blimey. If you're doing that, you will be getting a headache. <laughs> I checked your homework last night, and frankly, I think you're getting worse. Now, Max, the correct form of address for a cardinal is not Westminster Cathedral. <laughs> I didn't know he'd moved. <laughs> that should have been your eminence. And, Danielle, the word conjugate is applied to verbs and has nothing whatsoever to do with marital relations. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. And as for you, Ranjit, well, some of your answers made no sense whatsoever. That is because I'm not understanding the gist of the questions. So I'm answering different questions that I do understand. <laughs> that is not the object of homework. A thousand apologies. What a Sarah. Giovanni, what time do you call this? Eh... Uh, Ten past seven. <laughs> You're late. Haven't you got a watch? Ah, oh, I had a watch. It was a beautiful watch. It was rust-proof, shocker-proof, waterproof, everything. The only trouble is it wasn't quite super-proof. Super-proof? Yeah. Last night I'm working in the restaurant and whoops at the daisy, I dropped it in the sofa. My <laughs> aunt, have you seen one? Juan what? <laughs> Juan Cervantes. Oh, scusi, no. Well, where the devil has he got to? Eh, perdón, señora. Eh, it's okay, my friend, wait here for me. Oh, I don't know about that. It's only to finish class. Oh, all right then. Do you want a cup of tea? Eh, he not speak the English good. Oh. Eh, not like me. Oh. <laughs> you wait here. No speak, no nothing. K O. No K O. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right now, this evening we're going to concentrate on the alphabet. I'm going to go around the class, and I want each of you to give me a word beginning with a different letter from the alphabet. Max, we'll start with you. A or A. A desk. <laughs> no, Max, that's a D. All right. D desk. <laughs> No, Max, desk does not begin with the letter A. I want a word beginning with the letter A. A door. Good. A door. Well done. Uh, excuse, please. Yes, Ali? I am not understanding why you are saying a desk is not right, but a door is right. Oh, uh, yes. Well, you see, when Max said a door, he was meaning the verb to a door. And although they do sound the same, he didn't mean a door. For example, this door. Am I right, Max? Sure you're right. I'm meaning any door. <laughs> At this rate, it'll take us a week to get through the alphabet. Oh, we'll try again, Max. Please give me a, a word beginning with the letter A. And I don't want A something, just one word beginning with the letter A. Think of a fruit. Apple? Apple. Good. Janielle, B. B for brown. Good. B for beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Hannah, C. Red. Red? What's that got to do with C? Red C. <laughs> I want a word beginning with the letter C. Cow? Yes, well done. Taro. D. Arthur. <laughs> Darko. Darko. Well, well, dark. Dark K. Yes, good. Jamila. E. Heavening. Good, excellent, well done. Giovanni. F. <laughs> Fick. Fick. That's right. No, there's no such word as fick. Sure there is. My boss is English and he say lots of times, through thick and through thin. <laughs> yes, well, your boss's grammar isn't very good. And don't give me the old chestnut about his grandma being very good for her age. I not say that. Good. She's dead. <laughs> I have to be 
everybody. Look, there's far too much levity in this class. Don't forget that you have your exams coming up shortly. Now, try and take it seriously, please. Giovanni, a word beginning with F. Female. Good. Well done. Suli. G. Glate. Glate. As in Glate Wall of China, built by Grolier's Chinese workers. Ah, yes. Thank you, Suli. <laughs> Perdón. Ah, fun. Well, we were just going through the alphabet. Por favor. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E. Aha, sí, alfabeto. A, B, C, D. <laughs> Uh, would you like to give me a word beginning with the letter H? Ah. Ah, sí. Pues, eh... Uh, uh, por favor. <laughs> palabra. Ah, palabra. Julai. Julai? Sí. April, May, June, Julai. <laughs> no, one. Well, that's a J. July. I want H. Ha. Ah, sí. Hacienda. Yeah. Well, I'll accept that. Por favor. It's all right. Doesn't matter. Sit down. Ali, I. Uh, you are what? A word beginning with the letter I. Infidel. Are oh, you meaning me? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Sit down. Ranjit, J. Jackass. <laughs> are you meaning me? What the? Not your damn head one of you, monkey face. Quiet, <laughs> please. Sit down, both of you. Danielle. K. K for kind-hearted. Good. K for kiss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think that'll do, Daniel. Thank you. Uh, Max, L. Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> now, Max, try again. <laughs> Love you. Good. <laughs> Anna, M. Meisterzinger. Camilla, <laughs> N. Knitting. No, knitting begins with a K. What do you knit with? Ah, wool. <laughs> now, what are these? Needles. Needles, excellent. Well done. Giovanni, can you give me a word beginning with the letter O? Oriful. No. <laughs> Oliday? No. Opeless? <laughs> Yes, you are. You keep dropping your aspirates. Huh? <laughs> I'm not drop nothing. No, 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 no. An aspirate is the sound made by the letter H. The words you've given me all start with H and not with an O. Scusi. I want a word beginning with O. Come on. How to sight. That's better. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. Ah, uh, hello, Miss Dennis. Courtney wants to see you in the tea room. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, I'll be as quick as I can. Giovanni, would you take charge of the class by the way? See, Professor. I think you'd better come too, Pedro. Por favor. <laughs> Miss Courtney's found your fishy friend. Are you going to answer me? Look, what is your name? Who are you and what are you doing here? What seems to be the problem, Miss Courtney? This is. I just came in here and found him. Well, he seems to be some sort of foreigner, but I can't get a word out of him. Is he one of yours? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you can find out what he's doing here. After all, you do seem to have a way with these foreign persons. Oh, I'll do my best. Hello? What is your name? Name? Do you speak English? No? Parlez-vous français? Sprechen de Deutsch? Parlez italiano? Habla espanol? Or say something, even if it's only got nothing. <laughs> Amigo! Everything's all right. Not worry, not worry. Oh, Juan, you know this person? Si. I tell you the truth. He's my brother. Your brother? I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, I tell you the truth. He's not my brother. <laughs> He's a good friend. We sleep together. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> not in the same bed. Oh. Same room. <laughs> Look, uh, why don't you tell me the whole story, Juan? Uh, okay, I make it a clean chest. Breast. Uh, see, but you must promise me not to tell nobody. Well, let's hear what you have to say first. His name is Boris. He's Marinero. Marinero? Si. <laughs> oh, a sailor. Sailor. Ah. Last night he came in bar where he worked. He's rushing. Rushing? Si. You mean he was in a hurry? No, no. He's rushing from Russia. Oh. <laughs> a sailor, a Russian sailor. Si. We drink vodka. See, si, vodka. 
and he asked me for mental home. Asked you for what? He say, no go back Russia. Ask me for mental home. Casa de loco. <laughs> asylum, political asylum. Si, sí, si. Sí. <laughs> he's a defector. No, he's Rucci. <laughs> yeah. You know let him take him back, eh? Oh, no, of course not. This is a free country. If he wants to stay here, he's perfectly at liberty to do so. Uh, Welcome to England, comrade. Bolshoi spasiba! Bolshoi spasiba! supposed to be studying the books. Who say so? I say so. Yeah? Look, professor is put to me in charge. You got to do what I tell you. Now, I'm going to ask you the questions and you're going to give me the answers. Hockey, cocky. <coughs> Ali. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, please. What is a nauna? Oh, blimey. It is very simple. Nauna is a lady who is living in a convent. <laughs> That's a nana. Hey, Jamila. <laughs> What's the plural of a thief? Ah? Huh? The plural of a thief. A thief. Robbers. No, no, no not the robbers. Uh. Look, these are robbers. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, one a thief. Two thieves. That's better. <laughs> Max, what's the opposite of bitter? Lotter. <laughs> That's not right. Sure it is. Opposite of bitter money is lotter money. Silencio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Giovanni. You can sit down now. Uh, Juan, I think it might be a good idea if Boris sat next to you. Eh, ahí vamos. For your uh, general information, Boris is from Russia. Ah, much better he sit next me, rather than representative of capitalist philosophy. Oh, sorry to disappoint you, Suli, but uh, Boris has decided to change horses. Oh, blimey. Is he a Russian cowboy? <laughs> no, Ali, I mean that he's decided that he prefers our democratic way of life to the Russian regime. He's a defector. He's traitor. But a Ling Russian embassy. That will do no such thing, Suli. Uh, Boris has made his decision, and after the class, Miss Courtney will inform the Home Office, who will then decide whether he can stay. Why he wish to leave Russia? Well, I haven't the faintest idea. Hey, maybe he's a spy. Yeah, yeah. a double agent. Maybe Suli is right. We send him back where he came from. He should be interrogated. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, well, see. Sit down, everybody. Quiet, please. Yeah, sit down. I'm sure that Boris has a perfectly good reason for wishing to remain here. Boris? Dada, would you come out here, please? Juan, yes. does Boris speak any English? Ah, uh, I teach him a little. Oh, good. Why do you wish to leave Russia? Por favor. <laughs> I see you speak English as well as Juan does. Huh? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, why do you wish to leave Russia? Pony Mayo. Well, uh, come over here. Russia? Dada. England? Dada. Why you leave Russia to stay in England? Ah. Yeah. Zada! <laughs> Is this true, one? Si, si. Last night in bar, he meets beautiful girl. He has fallen, how you say, yeah? Heels over head. <laughs> head over heels? Si. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Boris. You can sit down now. Huh? Uh, sit down. Uh, dada. <laughs> Vive l'amour, Boris. <laughs> well, Suli, I'm sure even you wouldn't wish to stand in the way of true love. True love should be for state, not individual. Yes, well, not this side of the Iron Curtain. Now, where were we up to in the alphabet? Uh, which letter have we got to? P. P. Well, then, suppose you give me a word beginning with P. Flopaganda. 
propaganda. As used by decadent Western world to spread rice about glorious peace-rubbing Chinese. Uh, surely, do you have to make a political speech every time you answer a question? Yes. <laughs> Chairman Mao, he said, it is duty of those who can see to guide Brian to right or truth. The eight points for attention are as follows. Do not damage clocks. Do not take liberties with women. Do not take you sit down, thank you, that'll do. Ali, you give me a word beginning with Q. Q? Yes. Go on. Q? Yes. Come on. Q! Ali, will you give me a word beginning with the letter Q? Oh, blimey. I'm giving it to you three times already. Q. Like bus stop Q. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Well done. Taro. Ah. Asa. Radio. Good. Ranjit, S. Eskimo. <laughs> oh, Eskimo begins with an E. Thousand apologies. Think of a word that describes you. Stupid. <laughs> you are stupid. 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 You half witted Pakistani papadam. Don't you call me Pakistani papadam, you browned up chapati. <laughs> All right, that'll do. Sit down, the both of you. Juan. T. Por favor. T. Ha. T. No, 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 I don't mean it's time for the tea break. Uh, por favor. Never mind, sit down. No, but... No, about cafe. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. Ah, uh, what, uh, what is it this time, Gladys? There's another one turned up. Another what? A Rusky. Oh. I've shown him into Miss Courtney's office. I am Captain <laughs> Ivan Ivan. Are you? Da. And you are Mrs. I am Miss Courtney. <laughs> a fine woman like you has no husband? No. Ah, I am understanding. You prefer to have the lovers. Certainly not. <laughs> now, will you please get to the point? I have reason to believe that one of my men is here. <laughs> really? Oh, come, Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss. <laughs> we both know he's here. He must come back to the ship and return to Russia. That is for him to decide. Enter. Wish to see me, Miss Courtney? This is Captain Ivan Ivanovich, Mr. Brown, our English teacher. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. <laughs> oh, may I welcome you to England? You and your compatriot are perfectly safe here. Don't have to go back to Russia if you don't want to. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Yes? The captain has no wish to stay here. He has come to take back the other person. Ah, but you can't do that. Why not? Well, uh, he doesn't want to go back. He's uh, met this girl, you see, and uh, they want to get married. No, it's impossible. We are only being here for the one night. Uh, well, it was love at first sight. No, people do not fall in love at first sight. Englishmen <laughs> do. I tell you, he cannot be getting an English wife. Why not? Because he already has a Russian one. <laughs> Saying that he's already married. Da -da, da -da, to Anastasia. Well, this puts an entirely different complexion on the matter. I'm afraid we have no alternative but to return your roving shipmate. Will you see to it, Mr. Brown? Very well. <laughs> you are a woman of great perception as well as being beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are reminding me so much of your great national figure. Oh, yes, people have said I resemble the Queen. Yeah, 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 no. no, no, not the Queen. British Bulldog! One, <laughs> I ask you the question. What is the name for a group of cows? Por favor. Hey, come on, you know what I'm saying. You might have fooled Professor, you're not to fool me, huh? Now, what's the name for a group of cows? I don't know. A herd of cows. Por favor. Herd of cows. Sure, I heard of cows. <laughs> Santa Maria, a herd of cows is a lot of cows. <laughs> and you speak a lot of bulls. <laughs> right. Thank you, Giovanni. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I tell you, Professor, I don't know how you put up with all these foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> Boris. Da da. Yeah, well, there's a set of friend of yours outside. Uh, he's waiting to take you back to the ship, Captain Ivanovich. Nyet, nyet. Yeah, not nyet, nyet, da, da. He's told me all about Anastasia. 
Anastasia. Mm. For your general information, Anastasia is Boris's wife back in Russia. To oh. <laughs> oh. the randy old Cossack. <laughs> you will permit me, Mr. Brown? It's all yours, Captain. Boris Borisovich. Golubchik. Right, so come along, pay attention. We've had enough interruptions for one evening. Which letter in the alphabet were we up to? Ah, me. T. T. Good. Well, one? Tabaco. Tabaco, good. Uh, Max, you. Me? No, 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 the letter, you. Umbrella. Uh, yes, good, but uh, not umbrella. Umbrella. Hockey. <laughs> Anna, V. Vent. Vent? Yes, good, as in air vent. Nein, as in I vent to wash my hands. <laughs> no, Anna, those, ver those words begin with W. I want a word beginning with V. What instrument does Yehudi Menuhin play? A fiddle. Go <laughs> oh, a violin. V. Violin, natürlich, ja. Good. Uh, Danielle, W. W for war. Good. W for when. Oh. <laughs> I only wanted one word, Danielle. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. What is it this time, Gladys? He's back. Who's back? Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> Wants to see you. Giovanni, would you like? Oh, <laughs> uh, Captain, you wanted to see me? Uh, yes, Mr. Brown, could I, could I please have a word with you? Yes. Will you please speak on my behalf, Doctor? Will you do this one thing for me? Well, please. I tell please. you, please leave it to me. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Enter. Oh. Uh, Miss Courtney. We've got a bit of a problem. Captain Ivanovich is outside. Oh, don't tell me his compatriot has escaped. Oh, no, Boris is safely on his way back to the ship. Well, then why has the captain returned? Well, he wants to defect. You see, he says, like Boris, that he's fallen heels over head in love. Oh, these foreigners are impossible. I tell him to go away. His infatuations have nothing to do with us. Yeah, well, I'm afraid this one has, you see. He says uh, he's fallen in love with you. <laughs> I am loving you, Mrs. Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> not good anything. Why? What's the matter? I've got a terrible overhang. <laughs> well, the word is hangover. 
Well, whatever it is, I've got it. I drank too much vino at lunchtime. Oh, it's fatal to drink at midday. Oh, oh. oh good evening, Max. Oh, please, don't speak too loud. I am thinking you have been also looking on the wine too much. That's the trouble. He's not looking, he's drinking like me. Yeah, why did you drink so much? It was at the feast of my patron saint, Saint Maximilian. So we had a drink. Then we drink to my patron, Saint Giovanni. Then we have a drink for my patriarch. Then one for the Pope. Archimedes. Leonardo da Vinci. Melina Mercuri. Sophia Loren. And after that, I remember nothing. <laughs> me neither. Yeah, well, you better go and sit down gently. <laughs> Excuse me, please. <laughs> ah, that way. Danielle is late this evening, however, we'll carry on without her. Right, as you know, in a few weeks' time, you will all be taking your lower Cambridge. So tonight, I thought I'd give you an oral examination. You are wanting to look at our tooths? <laughs> no, no, I mean that I'm going to go around the class and ask you all to give me some answers and hope that I get some correct ones. We are having a quiz. Yes, sort of. Like Mr. Mind. <laughs> Master Mind. Yes, please. Yeah. Exactly, that's not a bad idea, really. Let's uh, make it competitive. We'll have a knockout competition. You mean like at a big punch-up? No, no, no. <laughs> Only verbally. I'll go around the class and whoever fails to answer a question correctly drops out, all right? Now, where shall we start? Uh, yes, Jamila, I'll give you an easy one to start with. Um, what is the plural of goose? Goose. Yes. One goose, two... Gooses? She's knocked out. <laughs> you know, the plural of goose is geese. Oh, ha, huh. geese. Hmm. Uh, we won't count that. Let's have another one. Uh, let me see. Uh, what, what is the opposite of good? Not good. <laughs> no, well, I would have preferred to have said bad, but we'll, we'll accept that. All right. Uh, Giovanni, what is an epistle? That's easy. An epistle is the wife of an apostle. <laughs> That's you, up. I'm wrong. Yes, an epistle is a letter. Oh. Max, give me another word for forward. MacDonald. MacDonald? <laughs> yeah, he plays forward for Arsenal. I don't mean that kind of forward. Another word for, for, for moving forward. Ah. Advance? Advance, yes, good. Well done. Anna, uh, another word for debunk. Debed. <laughs> no, no, it means to ridicule. Ali, correct the following sentence. Last night, I am going to the cinema. Last night, I am not going to the cinema. <laughs> wrong. It is not wrong. Because last night, I am not going anywhere at all. You should have said last night, I went to the cinema. But I'm telling you, I didn't went. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you did or didn't. You're out, all right? Ah. I'm sorry, I'm so late, Mr. Brown. Well, that's all right, Danielle. Were you held up by the traffic? No, I was held up. By a man. Good heavens. You, you mean a mugger? I do not know his name. <laughs> but he works as a woodwork teacher here in the school. One of the teachers here tried to rob you? No, not rob me. Oh, well, surely not... Uh... He was trying to chatter me up. Oh, I see. He wanted to take me out. You want I give him a bunch of fibers? <laughs> He's bigger than you, Max. Everybody's bigger than Max. <laughs> hey! Watch what you're saying, huh? Uh, listen, Nana Mascuri, you don't frighten me. <laughs> OK, come outside. Oh. No, all right, settle down, you two. Come on, uh, don't worry about it, Daniel. I'm sure that this uh, woodwork teacher, whatever his name is, was only trying to be friendly. But he was trying to be more than friendly. He would not let me go past until I agreed to have dinner with him. Oh, he does seem to have been rather persistent. Then, Erika, hmm? I have heard you say a brainwash. Uh, Way. Yes. I tell him I cannot go out with him because I am engaged to be married. Ah, very good. Quick thinking. There's only one problem. What was that? I tell him I'm engaged to be married to you. <laughs> Me? Yes. It was a good idea, yes? It was a good idea, no. Did anybody overhear you? Only Gladys. Oh, great. That's worse than putting it on news at ten. It'll be all over the school by now. You say that Mr. Brown is engaged to his French student? That's right. I heard her tell Mr. Jarvis in the tea room. Well, this is absolutely disgraceful. I think he might have had the decency to tell me first. Tell you? Yes. It's most inconsiderate. Oh, dear. Uh, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Didn't know what? 
Uh, oh, nothing, nothing. I must be getting back. Oh, that is, uh, did you say anything to Miss Courtney about Danielle and me? Oh, only in passing. Oh, great. I'm going to go and check it. I didn't mean any harm. I'd no idea she felt that way. What way? About you. Yes, what are you talking about? Yes. Oh, unrequited love. Pardon? You and her ladyship. She fancies you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Yeah, oh, it's true. Oh, she was very upset when she heard about you and Danielle. Look, Poor Gladys, soul. I don't know where you got this ridiculous story from, but you are completely mistaken. Oh, no, I'm not. I heard her. But, you mean she told you that she fancied me? Well, not in so many words, but I knew. It was written all over her face. I can't believe it. Yes, oh, it's not unusual, though. Oh, lots of older women fall for younger men. My sister ran off with the 30-year-old milkman. Really? How old was your sister? 65. <laughs> <laughs> but Miss Courtney's always given me the impression that she didn't like me. Oh, well, women are very funny. And she's at a funny age. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, the best of luck. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Come to think of it, you're not far off it yourself. <laughs> Enter. Uh, Miss Courtney. Well, well, if it isn't the college Casanova. <laughs> yes, well, I, I've come to explain about that. Are you sure you can spare the time? Yeah, it's a complete misunderstanding, you see. I'm not really engaged to Danielle. She only said that to uh, stop one of the teachers from pestering her. Really? Well, it's perfectly true. Uh, the chap who takes the woodwork class was trying to chat her up. Mr Jarvis? Is that his name? Well, I, I've never met him. Anyway, the, she concocted the whole thing just to get out of an embarrassing situation. I see. I'm terribly sorry. Especially in view of, um, well... In view of what? Yeah, well, I hardly like to mention it. Well, you have mentioned it, so you may as well continue. Well, let me say right away that it's a perfectly natural thing to happen. What is? Well, for one person to be attracted to another despite a difference in their ages. To what two persons are you referring? Well, you and I. <laughs> You and I? Yes. Oh, Mr. Brown, I've no idea you felt like that about me. Um? Well, as you said yourself, it's perfectly natural. Oh, you poor dear boy. Uh, no, Miss Courtney, you don't understand. Oh, but I do. Men have always found me rather fascinating. Yeah, I'm sure they have. Look, let me explain. Now, see. there's no need to apologise for the way you feel. Oh, yes, but of I'm... Of course, it's out of the question. But, Miss Courtney, please. Now, don't start grovelling. <laughs> Look it over it. Yes, I suppose I will. And now, I suggest you go and squash this foolish rumour about you and your French fiancé. Right, I'll do that. Thank you. And Mr Brown? Yes, Miss Courtney? Don't worry about this other little affair. I shan't tell a soul. Your secret is safe with me. You're very kind. <laughs> Poor fellow. Oh, come on, Danielle. Dis a kiss. Come on, Mr. Brown! Danielle, why aren't you in the classroom? I am trying to explain to Mr. Jarvis what I said between us is not true. Sure. It's every man for himself, is it, Brown? Look, I'd appreciate it, Mr. Jarvis, if you stopped pestering my students, if you don't mind. A bit sensitive, aren't we? To, to the green eye, is it? Certainly not. Yeah, well then, as they say in this lovely lady's land, ferme la bouche, shut your gob. Don't you speak to Mr. Brown like this. He will be angry with you. Oh, really? He is not frightened of you. <laughs> oh, aren't you? Well, I'm not. No, he is not. And if you're not careful, he will hit you. Danielle. <laughs> he couldn't hit a fly. Look, Jarvis, I'm not in the slightest... And he thing. is ready whenever you are. Right. Tonight, after class, in the yard. We'll have a bunch of... Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> hey, Mr. Brown. Oh, thanks, Sid. Uh, fancy drop a tiddly? Hmm? A tiddly wink. Tiddly wink? A drink. Oh, a drink. Drop a Jack the Dandy. Jack the Dandy? Drop a brandy. Oh, Get this drink up with a big fight. No, thanks. Please yourself. <laughs> I suppose it's uh, all over the school? Ah, oh, the news has got around. Yeah. Here, listen, I can give you a few tips, you know. Tips? Yeah, I used to read them right. Oh, uh, fight. You've got it, you've got it. <laughs> listen, I'll tell you what you do. You put your hands up like that. You stand and you start weaving. All of a sudden, you do the ugly shuffle. Oh, and you're one, two, three. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I feel rather nervous. Oh, it's the analadin, isn't it? Analadin? Yeah. Adrenaline? Oh, well, you should know. <laughs> well, you 
you'll be all right once you've hit him a couple of times. Yeah, it's him hitting me that's worrying me. <laughs> Perhaps if I had a quiet word with him, he might uh, forget the whole thing. Listen, you can't back out of it now. There's a principle involved. Yeah, well, let her fight, Mr Jarvis. They're more evenly matched. <laughs> yeah, but listen, it's a point of honour. You mustn't let Mr Jarvis know you're frightened of yeah, him. I think he knows already. Oh, well, I'll see you later. Don't forget the old one, too. Yeah, right, hey, hey, oh, kid. Hello, right. Giovanni. This fight. What about it? Right. Well, we show you how to win. When you get in the ring, first you smash him in the stomach. <laughs> and when his head comes down, you knee him under the chin. No, 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 no. Much better. Chop him the back of the head. No, 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 no. First, you hit him in the throat, and then you butt him in the stomach. <laughs> See, no, I'm not going to All right, all right, that'll do. There's not more fighting. You're here to learn English. I mean, oh. no, don't forget why you're here. Right, so now, who haven't I asked a question so far? Right, Suli, give me the comparative and the superlative of the following adjective, all right? Rude. Lude, luder, ludest. Light, right. Uh, Ranjit, complete the following proverb. A bird in the hand... Makes mess on your wrist. <laughs> A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. You're out. Right, Danielle, explain the meaning of the word... Illiterate. That is someone whose parents are not married. <laughs> oh, Danielle, that's illegitimate. Sorry. Juan. Si, senor. Give me the opposite of the following words. Ready? Not ready. Yeah, I hadn't started. <laughs> Juan. I, I lost. That's enough. Uh, that's not enough. Stop. Uh, go. Sit down. Stand up. Oh, somebody stop him, please. Silencio. Hey. I do good, eh? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Yo soy un talento. <laughs> right, Taro. Paso. Give me the following tenses of the verb to move. Past perfect, the present perfect, the past continuous. <laughs> well, say something, Taro. I am out. <laughs> right, see what we got left in. Yeah, well, let's see how many of you can survive another round. Okay. Miller? Can you count up to ten? Yes. Count up to ten. One, two, three. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, in English. One, two, four, three, six. Four. Sorry, Jim. Max, give me another word uh, and explain to me what uh, what is the meaning of syntax. The tax you pay when you go to the church? <laughs> no, it means sentence construction. Surely, spell democracy. C H I N A. <laughs> I suppose if I'd asked you to spell dictatorship, you'd have spelled out England. Or America. <laughs> well, one, that leaves only you. If you can answer the next question correctly, you will be the brain of the class, which doesn't say an awful lot for the rest of you. <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> Here is your question. What is another name for a valley between two mountains? Valley between two mountains. Si, yes. Uh, pass. Right. <laughs> oh, <hi. Yes. laughs> I win. I am the big talent, the big brain. Yeah, it goes with your big head. <laughs> no, 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 don't stop. Please, don't sit down. Excuse me, please, Mr. Brown. Yes, Ali. It is homegoing time. Yeah, well, not quite. But you are wanting to get ready for your big fight tonight with the Utpecker teacher. We are wanting to be there in time to see you knock the stiffing out of him. <laughs> it's not going to be any fight. You don't mean that. I do. Santa Maria, what about all the money we bet? Yeah. <laughs> money? You mean you're betting on the result? Sure. We all put in one pound each. But ten pounds on me to win. No, we back the other fellow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I'm only joking. Sure, we back you to win. You ready, then? Ready? Yeah, for the fight. Ah, uh, yes, the fight. Uh, look, uh, could I have a word with you, Mr Jarvis, outside? Well... Look, we're both reasonable men. I'm not. 
Look, um, I'm sure we can settle this amicably. Yeah, I'm sure we can. Oh, good. Not that I've knocked your block off. Ah, just the two persons I wanted to see. What's all this I hear about a fight? It's uh, <clears throat> just a private matter between Mr. Brown and myself. Nonsense. It's common knowledge throughout the whole school. Now, step into my office, shut the door behind you, and take heed, for I shall not tell you again. I will not have members of my staff brawling in public. I absolutely forbid it. You do? Most definitely. Oh, good. I mean, oh, what a pity. I was quite looking forward to it. <laughs> That's not the impression I got. Do you mean to tell me that you were actually looking forward to this fight? Oh, yes. Besides, there was a point of honour at stake. What point of honour? Well, this person insulted Miss Daniel Fabra. He forced his attentions on her. I see. Male chauvinism, eh, Mr. Jarvis? Well, why not? Women like to be dominated. Nonsense. Oh, come now, Miss Courtney. The man is by nature the hunter. Oh, well, this puts an entirely different complexion on the matter. It does? Yes. <laughs> Much as I abhor fighting, I feel that under the circumstances, perhaps your motives were justified. <laughs> no. We can have our little punch up in the yard. Certainly not. Oh, thank goodness. You will settle your differences in a much more civilised and sporting manner. Oh, I quite agree. How about a game of chess? <laughs> the school has a perfectly good gymnasium. If you must knock each other about, I suggest you do it there, tomorrow night, after class. <laughs> Where is Mr. Brown? He's just put his gloves off. Oh, here he comes now. Sit down, please. Uh, I have something for you. Oh, sir. If you put this in his clothes, <laughs> you'll be making his gloves. Yeah, and probably my wrist too. No, thank you. Well, like, excuse, please. <coughs> no, Tara, you do that after each round. This is a three-round contest, three minutes each round. On my right, from the woodwork department, Nigel Jarvis. <laughs> and on my left, from the language class, Jeremy Brown. Listen, I want a good, clean fight. Remember this. I want no scratching, bulging, gouging, eating below the belt. Shake hands now. Come out fighting. Oh. Right. Second out. going to kill me. We're going to lose our money. Yeah, we got to do something. I have an idea. Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, Mr. Woodwork, you box real good, you know? Don't you? <laughs> Listen, you box before? No, I once or twice. <laughs> I don't reckon your Mr. Brown stands much of a chance. Well, maybe. Somehow, I don't think I like to be in your shoes, you know? Yeah, no.
you did last night. You were so bright. Oh, it was nothing, really. Oh, well. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown. What is it? Oh, blimey, he's at it again. Who's at it again? That Oostpecker teacher, Mr. Jarvis. He's making advantages to Jamila. Advances? Yes, please. So I'm giving a kick in his backside. And now he's challenging me to a puncher. Oh, not again. No, I don't think you should go through with it, Ali. I mean, with all due respect, you're not as experienced as I am. <laughs> that is what I am thinking. So I'm telling this to Mr. Jarvis. Good. The fight is taking place tonight in the gymnasium. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you said you weren't fighting him. Oh, no, not me. But I'm naming you as my substitute. <laughs> 